Hi, friends and families. Um, today we are going to do our circle time. And in the circle time, we have hello song and read a book and goodbye song. So let's do our hello song first. On the count of three, two, one. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? I hope you guys all did and enjoyed it. Keep practicing. Friends, next we have read a book from Hi friends and families, we hope that you are doing well and enjoying your time at home. As Ms. Shiva said, our next part of circle time is story time. And we are learning all about pets this week. So I chose tails are not for pulling. If pets could talk, what do you think they'd say? Meow, woof, squeak, squeak, glub, glub, chirp. But what does that mean? Maybe fur is for petting. Backs are for scratching. Noses are for nuzzling. And tails are not for pulling. One, two, three, four, five, six tails. Sometimes pets get scared. They think you're going to hurt them, even if you don't mean to. Watch and listen closely. A pet may try to warn you. Grr, hiss, scratch, or bite. That's a pet's way of saying, hands off. Pets are for cuddling, not squeezing. Pets are for loving, not teasing. They look happy. And don't forget, tails are not for pulling. They're for wagging. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Bye, friends. Hi, friends. What a great story. At the end of circle time, we always say goodbye. Circle time is all done, all done, all done. Circle time is all done. Now it's time to go and play. Thanks so much for this week's circle time, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Stay safe, healthy, and happy. Bye-bye.